One of the top Quest 2 games is Beat Saber. In fact, one of the top VR games ever is Beat Saber. And Bratz, you know I love a lot of beats ever. I've played, I don't know how many hours, probably in the thousands now. There is people who play a mode called Darth Maul mode. I'll put a little clip on the screen, kind of show you what that's like. And there are some accessories that are made specifically for that. AMVR sent us their long Darth Maul staff handle. Let's check this out. So it looks like this is actually intended for the Quest, Quest 2, and Rift S. So hopefully that means that it'll still fit really nicely because the controllers were shaped a little differently. Set that aside just in case we need the instructions. I feel like this should be pretty basic. It looks like it comes in three pieces. Fun thing about that is if you care to, I, I reviewed a set before and I wasn't a huge fan. I mean, they worked, but if you care to, it looks like you could actually still use these as single sabers to put the controllers in. But then it comes with this rod that goes in the middle, whole thing screws together. It's actually a lot shorter than I thought it would be. I kind of thought it would be like a, like a full staff, but honestly, when I've played Darth Maul mode before, I found that I like the controllers close together, not super far apart. It kind of broke the immersion. You can get mods for that that look like it's one staff, but the problem is if you're playing stock Beat Saber, you see a single Saber starting here and a single Saber starting here, and you don't see the middle part that you're holding. Let's get these installed. Now, with the colors, it should be pretty obvious which is which, but it does also have an R and an L on there. That just slips in. It's actually almost just like the grips that I used for a long time with my Rift S, the same design as those. And I can tell you those work really well to hold the controllers, so I'm not concerned about it. They give you three of these Velcro straps so you get an extra one. Not in love with the fact that it's a hollow plastic tube. It's probably more than sufficient, but that does kind of freak me out about the durability. There are people who make some really cool videos on YouTube, some mixed reality videos, where they play Darth Maul mode and they use a proper staff like this, and it is really cool. So I can tell you, this is considered a pretty legitimate accessory in that field. Not necessarily this exact model. There's one from ProTube. I wanna say it's like carbon fiber even. That's a very serious one, but this is something, if you want to get into Darth Maul mode, it's serious. But we gotta take it an extra step further and see if we can take this from really serious to a little ridiculous. Those of you who've stuck around the channel a while know exactly what I'm getting out right now. No, God! Thought there'd never be another use for these things. Look at this. Please, no, no! I really hope these work together. These are the most ridiculous accessory out there. You ready to play Beat Saber? What the heck? These are lightsabers for your Beat Saber gaming experience that are... <laughs> they claim are meant to up the immersion, make it feel more like you have a real lightsaber. <laughs> Seriously. Last time I tried to use these, all I did was whack the crap out of myself because it makes for a much longer saber that you're not used to when you play Beat Saber. So you end up realizing how many of your limbs you'd slice off if you had a real lightsaber in your hands. <laughs> it looks obviously stubby. Like that definitely looks way too short. Look at that. <laughs> okay, that looks absolutely ridiculous, but I'm pretty excited to go try some Darth Maul mode with this. Oh yes. We have some other videos to record before we head over there. So I think what I'm gonna do is just leave zero explanation and I'm just gonna have this sitting there. We'll get back to you in a minute over in the garage with uh, how this goes. You're gonna need a lot of space for it. All right, we are out here. I am just gonna be playing vanilla Beat Saber and keep in mind, I'm not a big Darth Maul player. There'd be some people that could make this look really cool and really get into it with the staff. We're just here basically testing this as if you're someone who's interested in getting to done to Darth Maul mode, is it something you wanna try? But I would say if you're gonna go fully in, get the mod get the actual mall maps. We're just gonna be testing with some of the stock songs that have no copyrights, and uh, we'll see how bad I can do and how many times I can whack myself. I don't know how you're gonna audio sync this, John, but here we go. Hopefully that helps. <laughs> It's definitely, I always have a tendency to go single hand when I use these, and this one works well for that. If you wanted to be someone who did the double hands, it's okay, but I feel like it always just gets in your way. Oh, there's the first hit. Oh God, it knocked my tracking out of whack when I hit myself. One thing in this mode, because this isn't a proper mall mode you might have problems with, is when there's two notes on top of each other, it can be hard to figure out how to actually hit them properly. You kind of have to go like that. 
which isn't gonna give you points. You're gonna lose points playing in mall mode. Oh God. It is easy to mix up which end is which. You kind of have to really keep an eye because if you're spinning it, you forget which end is which side. You have to be able to keep an eye on the colors. I hit that one, right? Nope. Second hit. Oh God, even on normal, this is hard. I had one of the hinges come a little loose. I just felt it. I had to kind of tighten that during the game. So far it's decent. It is plastic on plastic hinges. So you want to tighten it down, but the tendency is it feels like it's going to be risky to tighten it too hard. I would definitely call this an amateur mall staff. If you want a serious one, you'd want like the pro tube, something that really locks things in. But for the price, I feel like this works pretty well. It's a lot better than taking inside of a toilet paper roll and a roll of duct tape and making them like I usually do. We'll try one more. We'll see if we can do something a little harder. Well, I'm doing a lot worse on this one. I feel it's coming loose. Yeah, it tends to untighten a lot when you're playing. I don't like that. Like if you're getting into it and you're really going wild, it loosens a lot. Now, if you get this, you're not gonna be screwing around with these weird tips on it. So I'm gonna try one more song without the tips. <laughs> they are funny and they're kind of a, I don't know, they're a joke, but I feel like with this staff, it's a little bit cooler than they were the first time. They're still a joke, they're still a meme, and it's still not something I would spend the money on. But with the staff and everything, it does feel a little cooler. So without that, that should make, that should decrease my worry of hitting myself, but it's not necessarily gonna make my worry of the thing coming apart while I'm using it any better. Okay, we're gonna try one more song. We're gonna try it on expert, although I'm not, I'm not real good at this, so we might fail. I'm gonna give these one good tighten. I'm gonna try not to tighten them at all during the game. And if these come loose again, then I'm gonna declare that a real problem though. Ooh, bombs on either side are tricky. Oh God. A lot of times you end up with it backwards when you're still trying to learn. And so you think you're hitting right. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die for sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are not gonna be ready for expert anytime soon, even if you're really good at normal Beat Saber. Let me go back to hard. I gotta see if this thing keeps loosening or if I just didn't have it tight enough because that's a problem. I'm gonna hit myself without the tips on there that time. Whew. Pretty decent hit to the headset that time. Seems if you tighten it down enough, even if you're getting really wild, it will stay tight, but you gotta tighten this thing down. Final conclusions, I will say, it is an amateur staff, but it does its job. <laughs> it holds the controllers well. You feel stable when you're in game, when you're moving it around, really tighten them down though. This would be a staff to start, but if you get good at it, much better because I've, I've really never hardly done it. You does be much better than I am. I would upgrade to a more expensive staff, or if you know for sure from your time playing Beatsaber, you want to get into Darth Maul mode, I would go for a more expensive, nicer one even than that. Maybe check out the Pro too. So I'll leave a link in the description of this, but also to some nicer staffs too, if you're interested. It was fun playing with it. Obviously these things are freaking ridiculous, but they were kind of fun with it too. So thank you for coming out. Let me know what you think in the comments of this whole setup. Have you used one? I know this one's kind of popular, so I'd love to hear your thoughts out there. And I will see you in another reality.